Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, if you're watching this on YouTube, hello! Welcome back! To let's stream Crusader Kings 2, the Immortal King of Scotland campaign. Where we've almost unified Britannia, so we're getting very close to our end goal. However, the Black Death is inbound and is probably going to complicate matters somewhat. It's uh, just about reached Paris, I believe. Judging by where we left off last time, so it's only a matter of moments before it hits the British Isles and everybody starts dying. Except probably for Bobard, because his health stat is so monstrous, he'll probably be fine regardless. That said, I don't know. He's 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 stressed and he's got the and he's got syphilis already. So it's it might come down to a roll of the dice whether or not he genuinely survives the Black Death if he gets it, because he has got some health debuffs. He, he, already. I think the Black Death by itself wouldn't be enough to kill him, but he's also got some additional health debuffs. So we'll see what happens. Does the Black Death ever reach Iceland? Do you know what? We'll keep an eye on it and find out, I suppose, won't, won't we? Um, so anyway... As ever, this is filmed with a, uh, streamed with a, with a live studio audience, which you can see down in the bottom left there. Uh, there they are. Say hello to YouTube, Twitch people. Spend some gold and a big rent need to conquer the rest of the UK. Why? Why, why would I do that? I mean, for one thing, I have a modest, modestly large retinue, but I, I don't need a retinue to conquer the UK. Right now, we'd probably be much better off spending our massive pile of gold on lots and lots of hospitals. I started building a bunch in my own domain here when uh, we left off last time. It looks like the English did build one or two hospitals here and there. But it looks like it's up to old, old King Bobard, Emperor Bobard, to set up our national health service. Just call me Nye Bevan. Oh, look, a trade post. Never really bother with trade in this game. I don't know if it's actually worth it. It's not like EU4 where, like, trade is the lifeblood of the game. Not to mention EU4 actually has a really cool trade system that I really enjoy messing with. Seriously, like... My, my, my recent EU4, EU4 campaign I did was as England, and I basically just played the entire game getting into as few wars as possible and just dominating international trade with my massive fleet and it was jolly good fun oh, this place has already got one All right, boys and girls. The Irish will just have to fend for themselves. But most of England and Scotland now has hospitals. At Belay that. Well, has hospitals being constructed? They probably won't be done in time, in truth. But hey, we'll make it one of the many parts of our, our legacy. NHS 1274, yep. Let's, can we go to the plague view? There we go. Let's see how it gets on. We're not going to spread. Also, there's some camp fever just for giggles. So, Bobard so far has survived measles, typhoid, uh, is living with syphilis, and uh, yeah, he's about to get a dose of the good stuff. Probably. Because I'm not going to lock the gates. I'm just going to let nature take its course. Oh, 
Emperor Bobar the Great has inherited the barony of Kajov from Baron Gregor of Kajov. Keskese. Now that sounds like somewhere in Poland, but I don't think it is. It's a, yeah, it's a castle. None of the people I assign this damn castle to could have produced heirs, apparently, because I'm constantly having to reassign it. That's the second time now I've had to do that. And there's our little bit of uh, Spain down there as well, and our teeny, teeny little bit of Poland. Sick house has been built. Away. Jure Ducal claims? Yes. I intend to press those as soon as possible. Unfortunately, our truce with the Welsh isn't quite timed out yet. 27th of November 1276, and I can yoink another province off them. Man, the Munros are really getting around. Apparently, Una Munro is the spy master of Northampton. Alley of Aragon is inherited in the Duchy of Aragon and other titles from Duke Alpin of Aragon, Aragon apparently. Middle East ravaged by plague. An ominous shadow looms over the regions of the Middle East as the plague has left little but tragedy in its wake. The reports are scarce, but upon hearing the tales of lone refugees walking the roads, often the sole survivor of a family, the hearts of many are torn as to why God would allow this to happen. When will it end? Mate, it hasn't even begun for you yet. Oh, here it comes. Here it comes. It's arrived. Uh, oh. Finlag finally died, eh? Okay. Uh, so, I, I guess... Yeah, I got the Kingdom of Ireland back in my possession. And uh, since I'm not actually over the vassal limit, I might keep it for now. Keep it in my pocket so I can give it to some unruly uh, vassal that gets annoyed. Like this guy might, for example. What are your stats like? You would make an excellent chancellor, my dude. Unfortunately, this cunt's my chancellor with a diplomacy skill of three. <laughs> but it's because he's locked away in his uh, in seclusion, in it. Diplomacy minus five. Although apparently his diplomacy is not that great on a good day anyway. So... Viceroy Thorraid. Thorraid, mate, I'm sorry, but... Falamon. He's the new Chancellor. Also, I need a steward. The Elephant Bar. You'd make a pretty good steward. Congrats. You're not too pissed with me, are you? No, good. That, all that vassal transfer and being made a viceroy has done wonders for our relationship. Um, Southern Europe ravaged by plague. Panic is rising as the plague reaps its victims across Southern Europe. Peasants and nobles alike have gathered in the churches to pray for mercy from their god. As even the great Rome has become littered with corpses, many fear that the taint is sent by him as punishment for the people's sins. Don't gather in a church. That'll just make it worse. Also, the Papacy owns this now. That's interesting. Papal conquest of Italy. Are the Cornish independent? Yeah, they are. Bless them. I'm thinking of leaving them like that for lols. I'll have I'll have Devon. I'll have all of Wales, and I'll just leave. I'll leave Cornwall independent. Just sat there in the end. Righteous imprisonment, because uh, Duke Malcolm of Connacht is trying to kill Duke Oisin, Wasin of Meath, apparently. Well, you carry on. Persia ravaged by plague. Trade routes of the east have become less travelled as reports of the plague spreading in the Persian expanse have increased in frequency. Entire villages are gone from the world of the living, disregarding the wealth and good harvest the area was enjoying. The reality is stark as death continues to spread and despair paves its road. Doom. Doom. Yeah, those hospitals really were not finished in time, were they? <laughs> 
Asia Minor ravaged by plague. The atmosphere at court has grown tense as word of the plague raging in Asia Minor has reached you. To further disturb the people, a story is circulating. Survivors speak of a cursed ship carrying living corpses come to recruit for their captain of death. The myth has lent more, more credibility each time a coastal city succumbs to the epidemic. Ah, Thorade is dead. Did he? Did the plague get him? Yeah, the Black Death got him. <laughs> oh, look, he's got the buboes and everything. Look at th she died attending to chamber business. Apparently. Death by Snoo Snoo? Right, we're over the vassal limit now, unfortunately. Egilf Gifu of Hwika. Oh, we're rivals, aren't we? Oh yeah, I forgot. I murdered your dad. <laughs> I hope I hope the play gets her. Oh, this could be just a wonderful cull of all the annoying vassals. Oh, I love it. Let's try va transfer vassalage to someone quickly to get back below the limit. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Look at this fella. Earl of Scotsford. Right, you're the Duke of Kent. Would you like Winchester? Do we have another Sally? We do. Countess of Urgel. Anyway, where's Winchester? Winchester. Not seeing it. In back. Oh, he's because it's off Wessex. 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 Is he a duke? And I didn't realise. Oh, he is a duke. I thought it said Earl. Ah, uh, no, his name is Aaron. But um, my, at a glance, I read that as Earl. All right. Uh, are you a vassal? You are. Right. We'll give you to this kid. Who's this guy? What's this guy's name? Name again? Wolfgar of Somerset. Right. Transfer vassalage. Unless he's also a duke. You're not a duke as well, are you? For fuck's sake, everyone's a duke, apparently. Right, Earl of Bath. Yeah, be already. Duke. Earl. Countess. Right, we've got a few earls here. Scotsford. I like Scotsford. Scotsford ought to have a duke. Here's the thing. Grant landed title. Duchy of... If it's available, I don't think it is. Never mind. Countess. Duke. Give you to Edmere the Drunkard. Transfer vassalage. Assuming you're not. No, you already have a leech. Confound it all!
Right, you're a countess, but no, you're a Earl Watsit of. Right, no, you're. Fuck it. Who wants to be vice right? Who wants to be vice right? Duke of Northumberland, you're an old git. I don't think you'll do. Again, you're a countess, you. Ed Mayer the Drunkard. Perhaps not the best choice for Viceroy. Uh, <laughs> you're old as fuck. You hate me. You sure as shit. Oh man, she's got a massive realm. Holy fuck. Holy fuck! Look at that! Look at the size of that! Mercy is gigantic! What about you? Walthoff. Angry for not being in the council. Perhaps we can cheer you up by making you king of England. <laughs> How's about that, matey? Uh, no, Grant. Vice royalties is a whole separate thing. There we go. Kingdom of England. Boosh. That vassal limits back to normal. Hurrah. Back to the plague view. Ireland was a vice royalty, but the free previous viceroy died, therefore, the kingdom went back to me. So. These are dark days with my wife, Kaiserin Sehilde. Sorry, Kaiserin? What? Is she just called Kaiserin because she's German? I don't know. I was beset by a high fever and could not stop vomiting. We feared the worst. The suspicions are now confirmed. Our affliction is indeed the dreaded plague! Goal for the gold position at once. Money continues to flow through the trade post in Tarragona, but your relationship with the merchant family that owns it has been soured. To teach them a lesson without going to war, you could arrange for a mob to burn it down. Yes, assemble the mob. No, things could quickly escalate out of control. Assemble the mob. Envoys from Patrician Canone of Morosini have, have presented you with a significant bribe in the hope that you will use your influence to spare his trade post. <laughs> Made him an offer he couldn't refuse. <laughs> there we go. Oh no! It's a coming to Scotland! We could shut the gates, or we could also not. <laughs> oh boy, here we go! Alas, we got cramps. Idris Hammer Matted thinks your symptoms point to cancer. Well, let's hope it's not cancer, mate. Because <laughs> I think if it's cancer, we're probably fucked. Go on, Idris. Do your best. Consulted the stars before draining a good portion of my blood. I'm glad I hired Idris. Decent symptoms treatment. Okay, another blessed has passed. The swollen limbs have blackened and burst, spewing out blood and pus. You've contracted the plague. Yeah, it wasn't cancer, mate. The plague. So, what's, what does it actually do? Personal combat skill minus 100. Wow. That'll 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 tank even his personal combat skill. 
uh, Marshall minus three, intrigue minus three, diplomacy minus two, stewardship minus two, learning minus two, fertility minus fifty, and health minus seven. So we have a malice now of minus seven, minus eight, minus nine, minus ten. Now, ordinarily, that would cancel out completely the immortality health buff, which would bring us down to zero health. However, we've got a certain magic goblet from God, which is currently boosting our health by an additional plus four. So, unless we get like a monstrously unlucky dice roll, we may survive. Come to see you in office treatment for your illness. Explains that there are... Oh, we've got also got a 0.5 from that Ill, uh, that symptom treatment as well, so... Uh, and is there anything else? Oh, we've got actually plus two from successful treatment as well from, from the syphilis. <laughs> uh, mild illness plus one as well. Yeah, so yeah, we're, we're actually probably going to be fine. Uh, your court physician has come to see you in office treatment for your illness. Don't cut my face off, please. Concoction from Buckthorn and Senna. I actually feel better, apparently. Although it hasn't added any new thing, because I've already got successful treatment, I think. I'm not sure how it happened, but your skin has returned to a healthy colour, and the abscesses are gone. It would seem you've survived the plague! And well, there you go, folks. Just like that. Bubonic plague, eh? What overhyped rubbish. Uh. Oh, that's the wrong wife. Oh, uh, alright. Uh, wife number five is dead. Jolly good. We needed some kids anyway. God, that's callous of me to say that. But she, she, was, uh, she was a bit of a useless wife, unfortunately, because we married her for an alliance which lasted all of ten minutes before... The guy I was allied with died, so Oh dear. She was no she was no uh she was no fuck's sake, where is she? No, that's Danella. It's this uh, oh Cockinell, right. No Right, her, she was no Danella. R.I.P. Danella, we miss you. And your thirty three marshal. inherited the again third fucking time now find another baron I'm beginning to think this castle is cursed it must be haunted or something all of all of the people I install as baron are being mysteriously killed off Obviously, the Black Death is a seasonal flu. Wake up, sheeple. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man, we got the gravestones out and everything. Where does it show what that means? Minor depopulation. Oh, ho, 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 boy, here we go. Oh, we got the plague pyres. Bring out your dead. Those wonderful sound effects. Corpse carts. Bonfire. Although apparently we're still prospering. So that, that's nice, I guess. No major modifiers are fixed in this province. Are you sure about that? And they had better do it and dis decrease the surplus population. Indeed. Hashtag Scroogeisms. Recruit court physician. Oh, Jesus. Did poor Idris get the plague and die as well? That makes sense, I suppose. They find another one. I'm sure uh, they're going to be in high demand right about now, though. I mean. A while after you spread word that you're seeking the employ of a court physician in one of the priests from Lindisfarne, 
arrived at your court. The cynical priest introduced himself as Callum the monk and expressed a wish to serve you, although seeing as this individual is shunned by the rest of the priests and the religious authorities are unlikely to approve. Leave your dusty old tomes and join me at my court. He's not that great, really, but... <sighs> Temple Vassal Opinion minus 10. Whatever. Important. Ah, seek treatment for illness. Need to do the uh, bi-monthly syphilis treatment. <sighs> Mystical treatment, eh? The risk of this treatment will vary depending on his capabilities. Oh boy. Oh boy. Hey man, to be fair, the conventional treatments haven't really worked so far. Calm stood at the end of your bed as the servants lit the candles. A pot was placed in your hands. Judging from the sounds, it contained a terrified rat. The creature will carry your burdens in your stead, he explained. Then the chanting began. I feel different. Oh boy. So it looks like we've been cured of syphilis and we've also gained content, kind, honest, patient, humble, and temperate. Well then. We don't have syphilis anymore. And we are a slightly different person, it must be said. My intrigue of four. Couldn't scheme away out of a paper bag, but I could stab it a lot. <laughs> Ritual turned us into Fred Rogers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's, he's now, he's now, he's, yeah. He's Bobard Ross now. Rat magic. Good stuff, eh? Oh, boy. <laughs> what an absolute disaster. Black death. Luckily, if you're in Russia, apparently you're, you're fine. Or India, for that matter. Unless they've already had it and it's moved on. Also, apparently there's an arranged marriage thing here. Uh, Blessed upon your house, we propose that Sultan Alvar... Of Castile and Morag de the her marry. I mean, sure, I guess if you wanna. Yeah, um, I my doubts were clear, clearly unfounded. This 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 monk is uh, he knows his shit apparently. Who? <laughs> let's have let's have a closer look at him, shall we? Wolf of the bombing broke. Dude, I don't care if you're a powerful vassal that's angry for not being on the council. For one thing, you're shit! And for another, you like me plus 100 anyway, so. You're Viceroy, mate. It's fine. You needn't be on the council. Known murderer. <laughs> I'll fucking say 49 kills! 49! That vicious rumor th rumors thing never ever seems to go away. You should get married. Hmm, maybe I'll wait till the plague's over, eh? I didn't give away Middlesex. No, I am stubbornly holding on to it. At least I thought I did, was. I guess I'm not. Oh well, never mind. I kind of don't care. I'll get it back as soon as as soon as he dies, anyway. I think anyway. Ah, uh, let's see. Let's see. What was, I was going to do something. Else. Ah, I forgot what it was. But now I've remembered. Callum the Monk. Master Man Theologian, renowned physician, Monk. Yeah, he's a mystic. There you go. 
has delved into the mysteries of the occult, trading, treading a fine line between heresy and orthodox approval. Hey, there you go. He is, uh, he's a mystic. Glad he was able to use rat magic to cure my syphilis. Wonder if I'll ever get rid of that lunatic trait now as a result. Or whether we'll just be seeing giant gophers in our bedchamber for, for the rest of our lives. And the rest of our lives could be an awfully long time. Marjorie Monroe, my granddaughter, has died after a disagreement with a meal. All this play going on and you had the bad luck to get food poisoning. Wow. Just, I mean, I say food poisoning, it was probably just straight up poisoning, to be fair. The realm laws maxed out as far as tech will let. Um... I probably could, let's see, get rid of those sound effects, ugh. Um, I probably could switch centralization back up to high. Yeah. I don't have free investiture though because it's just not worth annoying the Pope. Western Europe ravaged by plague. From the Rock of Gibraltar to the ports of London, the plague has been spreading, harvesting lives of nobles and farmers alike. The countryside of the afflicted areas have been left haunting and desolate. Here and there, pyres from the burning of diseased of the, the disease can be seen from miles away. Yeah, it's uh, it's certainly taking its toll. Words going around that since the epidemic came to Glasgow, we've been seeing an increase in cats. Are people are sure the cats are helping the spread of the disease? <laughs> no, the the cats are not to blame. Mm. Gather some cats for examination. Canon reports that apart from showing disapproval of their capture, most of the cats seemed calm and healthy. Only a few show symptoms of illness. It's unlikely that the cats are the cause. So the cats are not to blame. Let them go. Or keep some for observation. I say keep some for observation. Keep some because they're cute and I want to pat them. Yes. I mean, rat magic seemed to work wonders, so maybe we'll try some cat magic. You're right. Uh, one of the examined cats seems to have taken a liking to you. A sweet meow whenever you pass by their cages and a soft purr whenever you come close. I will call her Mittens, my new sweetheart. But people would not approve. No. Yeah, Mittens! Gains pet cat, giving the following effects. Intrigue plus one and health plus two, plus one. Mittens! Complaints about the cats will not end. An angry mob has gathered claiming the cats are the bringers of bad luck and cannot be allowed to roam the streets. Cats are not the cause. This option is available due to our high diplomacy skill. You calm the mob down with a convincing speech. We, we did it. We just we had we just we did a Captain Picard there. Really is what we did. We stood up and gave an elaborate speech about how. We should be better than this and stuff. Very inspirational. After months of chatter about cats, it appears as if the common people are now focusing on other things. What a relief. Ooh, tech advances. Popular customs. Bah. Majesty. Eh. Nah. Tolerance. Not bad, however, I think I'd probably... I think I'd probably rather go for more noble custom, just because of extra feudal vassal opinion. It's something I desperately need in my life. 
these days. Could we wage a war against Wales while the Black Death is still ravaging the continent? Well, I don't see why not. Give everybody a nice little distraction. Where is... Ah, here we go. Queen Agnes. Sorry, Queen Agnes. But uh, assuming this... Uh, this old truce has expired, and it has... I shall be having uh, claim Wales. Hold on a second. Duchess de Ludgach Galloway's claim on the Kingdom of Wales, or I can't quite unpick whether or not that's actually going to get us the whole of Wales if we do it, but I might it might be worth a try. Prince Huayella of Wales. Princess Right No, not not her. Are these all the Welsh people? No 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 Galloway, right. So if you get Wales, because I'm an emperor, I think, hopefully we should also get Wales. There's a male claimant, you invite him, give him a barony and press his claim. I think it's all ladies for some reason. I don't know if we can make the Empire of Britannia. I don't know if we can. It's not in the decisions. Pet cat. Hehe. <laughs> uh. Dejure and a history. I'm not seeing anything. Not available. Anyway, I'm gonna have a go at this, uh, this, uh, the claim here, because I think it should work. I hope. Why not? We'll find out. You never know. We might be able to offer vassalization to who to the person we claim it for. And that would solve a lot of problems. So we want you which one is it? Duchess of Galloway, that's the one. You. We'll claim it for her. Oh, 
army levels from the main. I don't think we're going to need that many armies to beat Wales. Ten thousand, even ten thousand is a bit much. Oh, apparently, uh, my rival is getting involved on my side, I guess. It's a siege in time. Yeah, we, we cured our syphilis with rat magic. It's great. And there's black death everywhere, as you can see. Appoint Mittens as Chancellor. Spymaster, surely. Could make Mittens court chaplain. I wish. Hebridean Peasant Revolt. I've got to be honest, that's awfully poor timing. Not the fleet. Oh, for fuck's sake. that we don't have a lot of levies. <laughs> it's like uh, we're having some population decline for some reason. No, don't run away. Ugh. Right, I'm just going to quickly hop up back to Scotland to deal with this. Eastern Europe ravaged by plague. Death comes to all. And in Eastern Europe, the terror is because... This is very loud. Um, the terror is becoming mundane. The plague has been ravishing, ravishing the lands. Ravaging? Ravishing? I'd say ravaging, really, personally, but... Ravaging the lands, unbiased against the social issues, uh, or status, indeed, of men indifferently claiming even babies from the arms of their parents. Travels to the area are currently discouraged. Let me see, is, is Russia finally getting... Oh, yeah. It's your turn, Russia. Bad luck. that rubber scum. Right, dismiss vassal levies. Keep the personal ones. Yep, that's that. Really? This is becoming a goddamn meme at this point. Why do my court chaplains keep dying? Might be because of the Black Death. But right, I, I, it's, I, they keep dying even in spite of that. So this war, war score is ticking up rather slow. Let's have a battle, shall we? Africa ravaged by plague. Death has haunted the continent of Africa as the plague is spreading amongst its inhabitants. Blackened bodies lay rotting in the sun, and the stench is unbearable. Many have fled to the larger settlements, but the epidemic follows, with the bodies floating down the Nile and the Niger. We 
Are we getting like tons of attrition right now? Yeah, plus 7.5% attrition because of the Black Death. And mountains and winter. Turns out making war while the Black Death is around is uh, difficult. Ah, brilliant. You're an angry vassal, but you also have incredible marshal. Welcome aboard, Duke of Munster. All of Europe ravaged by plague. Not even the most remote regions of the world are safe. The plague has struck northern Europe. The streets of many cities lie deserted as their inhabitants fled in fear. Despite the heavy quarantine in the harbours, many a ghost ship eerily drifts across the Black Baltic Sea. That's Iceland. No, Iceland still has not had the plague. So as I can tell, in fact, Iceland is prospering. Northern Europe's remote. I mean, yeah, I guess I suppose it is. Everything north of about this bit here. Queen Agnes, will you just give up, please? My favorite subject does not interest me anymore, and I can't speak about it with the same zeal as before. Oh, why are you throwing Zealous away, dude? It's one of your best traits. This is the second time you've done this to me, Baba. Will you stop it? All the battle. Oh, wow. Uh, we might need some more troops. <laughs> Stuart's dead now. Great. Uh, Sally! Countess of Urgell. Welcome aboard. Or this angry bastard. No, no, it's gonna be you. It's gonna be you. You're just better. Do, 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 do. So grab it. Well, that'll certainly do. Come back here. Stop running away. This war is slow going. Ah, oh, yeah, the plague does seem to have ended at last. Good stuff. Yep, yeah, it's buggered off except for a few bits of the highlands. Still, plenty of depopulation, significant depopulation here. Wow. <laughs> Man. Yep, them's a lot of gravestones. Only minor depopulation in some of my bits up here, though. What about... Oh. Unfortunately, Glasgow was not spared, in spite of my wonderful hospital. Minor depopulation. Whoa, severe depopulation. Uh, eh, 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 stop it, stop it, stop being naughty. Weak leader. Oh, shit.
God, this is tedious. Just give up, whales. The step ravished by plague. Poor Mongols. <laughs> I guess they aren't arriving anytime soon. They should have been here by now, really, but it's only going to delay them further. Captured in battle. Excellent. Not going to be able to catch him, am I, actually? No, back this way. Continue besieging. Ninety-six percent. Come on, go catch this guy. Another battle should do it. Get back here! Just give me this Roadrunner Wily e. Coyote bullshit. Hundred percent. We done did it. All right, so we didn't get it exactly, but you're now the queen, and your opinion of me is plus one hundred. So we can offer you vassalization. She'll say no. Because I'm a I'm a king. Oh, that's annoying. So you just gave up Galloway and became queen over here instead. Although it looks like we got Anglesey, so it's not all bad. Yeah, a less than optimal outcome, however, unfortunately. Never mind. The Iberian Reconquest. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Get on with it. Oh, for God's sake. Is there anywhere the Holy Roman Emperor hasn't got their grubby mitt stuck in? Found another bloodline and invade. You act like there's just a button to do that. I own Barcelona. Yeah. Game kind of bugged out during the crusade and gave it to me instead of the person who I specifically designated as the beneficiary. Also, speaking of my former beneficiaries, Portugal's seen better days. Gone are the glory days of Queen Sally of Portugal. King Afonso here, on the other hand, he's kind of ruined everything. Well done, Afonso, you idiot. You're not even my kinsman. Who the heck are you? You're of a completely different house. What happened to the uh what happened to the Munros in Portugal, eh? I have an heir in Wales. Why can't I just raise him up to control it? Because he obviously doesn't have a claim. Yes, we're still playing as Bobard. To my disappointment, the Black Death did not in fact kill us. Pick an ambition. Unless there's Conquer Wales as an ambition available, I'm not interested. But since we've got a stupid truce, I suppose I might as well. There we go. The realm could do with a bit of prospering after the Black Death. Uh... We should really thank the Black Death for it, I mean, because it killed our former court physician and it allowed us to get Magic Ratman. We then cured our syphilis, so we emerged from the Black Death objectively better off. Personally, maybe not so much for the kingdom. And we're unmarried. Yeah, we should probably do something about that. Hang on a second. Wait, 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 wait. Queen Agnes of... Are you... How are you... 
How are you back in charge of Wales again? What happened there? You were queen for like five minutes and now it's gone back to Agnes. What the flying fuck? How about we... Ah, uh, you're betrothed already. Why can't it? Why can't I? Why is? Why can't this just be EU four and I can invade and conquer you all in one go? Inherited the king. Ah, King Jerkface has died. I see. Who now rules in his stead? Duke Sig here. Oh, of course you survived the Black Death, didn't you? Apparently we're rivals. Can I duel you? She's fucking pregnant. God damn it. Right. When this baby is out of you, Duchess Elgith e Ethel Gifu, we are having a duel. Lots of peasants have been moving to the county of Lothian lately. Your steward, Sally, suggests building new roads. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do the thing. Spend the money. Spymaster. You, Elfstan. I know we've got over our vassal limit in a minute, but I want this chick dead so that Maybe I can give give make her air viceroy. Right, no longer. Oh, there we go. We got this guy instead. Congrats, you are no longer pregnant. We shall duel. I have ninety personal combat skill. You have twenty. I'm almost certainly going to win. However, if you do kill Bobard. Fucking good on you. My name is Ethel Gifu Mon Montoya. You killed my father. Prepare to die. I would I would legit call that a really awesome end to the series if you did kill him in combat. So give it your best shot, Duchess. Challenge her to a duel to uphold your honor. Duels could be considered dangerous to your health. Uh, okay, she's a woman. Challenge the, this such challenge is widely frowned upon. Uh, uncivilized jeweler. Give me the following effects. Temple vassal opinion and vassal opinion. Minus 10. <laughs> I say. We're all about equality in the Empire of Scotland. Duchess, Ethel give you the wise has chosen to accept your challenge to personal combat. The duel will take place in the next few days. Let's fight. The sun is beginning to set when I meet with Duchess Ethel Gifu, my Italian battle axe of the cross, ready. Man, we got that like two centuries ago from the Pope. After she clumsily dodges one attack, my next one lands perfectly. Frantically, the woman attempts to cover her injured eye, but I've rarely seen so much blood. I walk away victorious? Or why aren't you begging for mercy? We win the duel either way. We will be upset about this merciless action. Bobard gets merciless, giving the following effects. General opinion minus 10. Tribal vassal opinion plus 10. Clan sentiment plus 10. Duchess. She dies and our duel experience increases. Mm, yeah. Die. Minus 20 for Ruthless, but uh, and 10, minus 10 for, for Merciless. But uh, yeah, she's, he still likes me more than his mother did, so. Congrats, is your, here is your, uh, your consolation prize. 
kiddo. Congrats, you are now the Viceroy of England. And I need another spy master. Finally got rid of that thorn in my side. That felt good. Haha, -ha, he who laughs last laughs longest. Finally, that filthy spider, Duchess Ethel Giffy, has left this fine earth. While everything will definitely be better without her, I have a lot of extra time on my hands now. <laughs> I do think her skull would look fine on my mantelpiece. Attempt to steal the head of Ethel Giffy from her grave. <laughs> but it sure will get boring without her. Find a, find a new rival to amuse yourself with. Or take enough of my time and energy, no more. And we lose stressed, finally. Marvellous. Uh, how am I, am I... Did all my commanders die of the plague? What is going on? Just the lunacy to get rid of now. Yep, you're right. He'll be back to more or less his old self. Arrange marriage. Oh my god, Norway still exists, does it? Just about. It's clinging on for dear life. King Bertil of Norway and Maud marry. Okay. Enjoy the prestige hit. Smallpox has broken out in Bath. Oh, good. Just in time. We've still depopulated from the plague, and we've got some smallpox. The world's a dangerous place, and devious plots are everywhere. Rumors have reached you that people have conspired to kill you. Well, shit. Is this it? Is this the end? Is this how he finally dies? No, we're not going into hiding. Is he going to finally be assassinated after 174 years? My marshal should be training them by default. Yeah, he's organizing the army. He doesn't create new commanders, generally speaking. We, we have to manually do that to create a bunch like that. But he sometimes gets you characters that can be good commanders. A uh, small spear throwing competition would be entertaining. Sure, why not? Someone's plotting to kill me. Why not have a spear throwing competition? Everyone has, seems to have been a great time. They're partaking in the contest, conversing and laughing together. Perhaps the merriment is a bit too much. As a spear is carelessly hurled into the field as someone is still out there, measuring the distance of the previous throw. Well, that's unfortunate. Duke Falamon of Ulster gains the trait mangled and severely injured. Whoa. Oh, fertility minus 50. That's not good. Poor guy. Oh, dude. Right in the neds. After dozens of spears have been held through the air, a soul victory emerges. He won anyway! <laughs> Fair play, my dude. He's like, no, I'm fine. I can still compete. It's okay. <laughs> and then he won. Your ability to take down any man in a brawl is widely renowned. Many speak of your prowess and how it would be unwise to pick a fight with you. It feels good to be recognized. Just some free prestige. Enjoy. Balls of steel. You once had a genius heir die in that event? <laughs> that sucks, dude. <laughs> I'm so sorry, but that is really funny. <laughs>
Special character option. Nah, nah. You're, you're into hiding. <laughs> That's a bit of an awkward problem, isn't it? I suppose it doesn't really matter, though, since the title is mine. And ordinarily it would matter, but in this game it doesn't. Not Muslim raids this time. Oh shit! Hello, but we do have Muslim raids up here. What madness! I say. Oh, with this I shall not put. Five thousand from there, and only yeah, weird. Oops. Ronald's improved significantly. Good. Right, let's get rid of these guys. Ah, oh, they've already got back in their boats, the cheeky bastards. Harumph. Never mind. Special character action possible. Oh, why does that keep popping up? Like, I know someone's trying to kill me. Why do you keep going away and coming back? I say Edwin. Might not be a bad idea to uncover the plot to kill me, you know. Sort of what you're here for, really, as the spy master. It's kind of your job. Consumption has broken out in... Oh, good. What's a bit of typhoid in the mix, along with the, uh... With the smallpox and, uh... Whatever that is. Cats exterminated! Oh, no! I'm also just one of my commands, mal mal Malice. Malice has improved significantly. Good. Successful jihad. Allah has granted Andali Fatimid victory uh, in the jihad for Arabia against Kaiser Berengar the second of the Holy Roman Empire. Look at that, they finally took Arabia back from the Holy Roman Empire. Cursed fucking sentence. Maybe we should find a, high, a wife with high intrigue. Wouldn't be a bad idea, would it? There aren't any very many of of particularly higher rank that also have good intrigue, unfortunately. Oh, look, look, look. A non-aggression pact with Baron Alistair of Kirkcaldy. We must jump at this opportunity for an incredible alliance, folks. <laughs> look at Portugal. Yeah. Portugal is... Uh, uh, poor Sally's legacy is, is being destroyed by her incompetent heirs, unfortunately. I'm 
I'm going to assume that we would get a, a big old prestige hit. What? Yeah, no, plus 14 and then minus 100 from marrying the relative of the Grand Prince. It's a minus 86 prestige. Uh, but she's 40, so she's a bit old. Yeah, it's not a very good idea. Bobard is the number one historical source right now for the past 160 years. He is living history. Unfortunately, however, he's also a gibbering lunatic. So good luck getting uh, some decent historical discussion out of him. Saint in heaven, Saint Malfreda, the God-bearing. Interesting. You can shut the gates. Fucking really? Are we really doing this? Consumption's coming back. Well, fuck it. I've had typhoid once. Why not have it again? We enjoyed it so much the first time around. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Just let me conquer Wales, game. Just let me conquer Wales so this nightmare can end. Distinguished Emperor Bob, I wish to formally invite you to my court for a period of festivities leading up to my coronation. Sincerely, Queen Agnes of Wales, your eternal tormentor. One kill. I bet you're really proud of that one kill, aren't you? Got 52 kills, motherfucker. I suppose I could make you a rival and duel you as well. Not that it would really achieve much, I suspect, but you know, just just it would feel satisfying. Fine, we'll go to your stupid banquet. I've been appointed a regent. Who are you? You're my spy master. I don't really have anyone I particularly trust as regent at this point. Bobard's all out of friends. Coronation of Queen Agnes. Long live the Queen, I guess. With the ceremony finally concluded, Queen Agnes bid me farewell and dismissed me from her court alongside all her other guests. It's good to be back in Glasgow. I would be content with visiting the church every other Sunday, but... I don't show up, the priest scolds me and tells me I should be a better example of my subjects. You will ruin everything. <laughs> Peasants of Athol are quite far and spread, apart and spread out. Your spy master Edwin Edwinson of Bamberg uh, suggests investing in a provincial messenger system. Oh, right, it's another. Throw money at me so I can do stuff. Event. The faithful prepare for what? We're having another crusade to rescue Portugal. I suppose it's about time, eh? Jolly good. I've still got most of the previous war chest, frankly. There you go, grand gift. Uh, my beneficiary will get the titles. And my beneficiary will be. I just have people that are of my dynasty at this point. I don't even have grandkids. Probably a few great grandkids in here. My god, look at her. She is the spitting image of old Nettle. From back in the day. I didn't mean to actually select her, but she really is. Alfrica Munro of Bostra. 
my kinswoman. Don't look at the old family tree. No, not round tree. Daughter of Hussein. And then Ashraf, Ronaldo, Conan. Oh, she's one of Conan's. Right. She looks a little bit like him too, actually, for having said that. Who else we got? Lorna? If you noticed, it's all females. It's all ladies. Crusader Queens confirmed. Fly in Africa, you can be you. Because frankly, I don't really want it for myself. And the target is this guy of the Amor of an Empire. The big green blob. your capital it's down here 32k levies eh? I'm at 22k although that's still suffering from an awful lot of depopulation so and again years two where is my marshal good sir get training those troops going on down here. Chancellor Duke Falamon is doing a superb job. I'm in trouble with the town and the castle in Glasgow and I shall of course send my uh, the the castle. Feudal vassal opinions always much better. He will not come to Glasgow and pay homage to his rightful liege as is tradition. You naughty man. This is insulting. How dare do you? What are you up to, Wales? Oh, they're conquering Cornwall. It's the last little spit of land they can conquer around here. Everything else is part of the big bright blue blob. Oh, peasant revolt. Well, kind of them to get it out of the way now instead of uh, waiting until we're on crusade. Anglesey, huh? You can fit 2,619 soldiers on Anglesey? Fair enough. Even more peasants. Oh no. Get wrecked, peasants. Battle of Anglesey. Things going well and suddenly I hear an embarrassed huff from nearby. Spinning, my sword ready. I see the enemy commander, Lou, awkwardly attempting to climb a fallen tree. I think he's trying to escape the battle, my lord. The soldier next to me muses. Ah, how lovely. I should duel the commander myself. What is his personal combat? Yeah, not as good as mine. Sounds begin to set when I meet him with my 
battle axe of the cross ready. Every clumsily dodges one attack. The next one lands perfectly. Frantically, the man attempts to cover his injured leg, but I've rarely seen so much blood. Time to die, rebel scum. A bird cries out and I wake up. I hear men roaring in the distance. Why am I on the ground staring at the sky? I, I cannot move. Is this how Emperor Baba the Great leaves the world? Go with God, comes the ragged voice of a wounded soldier next to me. <gasps> Guys! His tale finally ends! Wounded mortally upon the battlefield on Anglesey. What is it with my Scottish characters dying on islands? Um... Fighting a rebellion. Damn, it probably did a Harold Godwinson. Took an unlucky arrow in the eye or something. Go with God, comes the ragged voice of a wounded soldier next to me. There you go. Ladies and gentlemen, his tale finally ends. Dying as he lived by the sword. To quote Jesus Christ. Who Bobard was a big fan of. That's, uh, it must be said. Emperor Bobard has given up the ghost at the age of 177. He died in battle. A zealous man, he fought for the glory of God against the heathens in one of the greatest holy wars of recent history. So the, 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 the Crusader Aragon basically leaves the Empire. And uh, Cain here of, of Scotland takes over the Empire in his place. That is Cain. Decent diplomacy, iffy marshal, decent stewardship, very bad intrigue. Decent learning. He's a mastermind theologian, ambitious, humble, trusting... Mm, yeah, like a despised aristocrat. Yeah, I'm not sure I fancy his chances trying to lead the empire. Emperor Cain, a wise and learned man. Progress and innovation is expected under his rule. Long live Emperor Cain. He has a lot of pretenders. <laughs> a lot of pretenders. <laughs> so be it. Of course, the battle itself was won. The rebels were defeated. But the Emperor was killed. A random arrow or javelin, perhaps. Unequaled in personal combat. We're all the same when a longbow's pointed at us, though. A Welsh longbow, most likely, considering we were in Wales. And thus ends his tale, ladies and gentlemen. There he was. Let's have a little overview, shall we? If we can find the bugger. There you go. Got to go a bit far up the family tree for that one. Emperor Baba the Great of Scotland. He lived to the ripe old age of 177. He had five wives. Uh, he had Adol Grima. Kazanat Udit. Bernadette of the Unfaithful. Danella the Bold, who he's now gone to be with in heaven, I suppose. Uh, Duchess Sir Hilda, the Beguiling. His treasury was rather large. He had Italian Crusader armor, the Haggis Crown, the Emerald Scepter, the Sword of Heroes, the Scottish Crusader Falchion, Italian Battle Axe of the Cross, Usurper, the Holy Grail, Nail of the True Cross, a skull trophy and the bone of St. Christopher of Antioch. He was a brilliant strategist, a direct leader, a siege leader, shrewd, uncouth, crowned by a bishop, a crusader multiple times, a poet, brawny, immortal, at least not quite immortal enough, apparently, 
a pilgrim, strategist, charitable, lustful, gregarious, just, content by the end, kind, honest, patient, humble, temperate, and unfortunately by the end, something of a gibbering lunatic. The syphilis did that. He cured the syphilis in the end with some rat magic, but unfortunately it couldn't cure the madness. He had 45 kills to his name. And the last one was Lou, who he slew in the very battle in which he died himself. He was Catholic. He was of House Monroe. And now he goes to join his uh, predecessors. Dudley, of course. The one-eyed, one-armed battle king that uh, united Scotland by basically fighting everybody else in Scotland until he was in charge. Shona, the plotter and schemer, who uh, supposedly died a natural death, but was almost certainly assassinated. And then, of course, her father, Malcolm, with whom we began this playthrough as Count Malcolm of Clydesdale. A bit of an unremarkable man, it must be said. He didn't really achieve an awful lot, but uh, his kids and his grandkids, well, they were destined for greatness. We were of the blood of Caradoc, of the blood of Ragnar Lothbrok. We founded three bloodlines of our own, the immortal blood of Emperor Bobard, the immortal blood of Alexander, and the crusader blood of Emperor Bobard. And our mortal progeny practically cover the goddamn earth. I wish there was a button to just completely expand the entire tree at once, because... For quite a few dead ends, unfortunately, I think most of that is due to disease. Ah, can we? How could we forget Dudley the Fat, the big fat gay grandmaster of the Knights Templar? Yeah, suffice to say, he has many, 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 many. Queen Sally the Crusader, there she is. She was great. Many descendants. This is all just from him. This is, doesn't, doesn't count his siblings into it. We are threatening, apparently. Okay. But there it is, ladies and gentlemen. We'll leave Emperor Cain to his very unstable empire that he's inherited from his dad. Along with a little slice of Wales, I suppose that's nice. Um, what may become of him, I do not know. I don't really have the patience to find out. I have, I have a feeling, though, that hard times will be upon the empire fairly soon, because there are an awful lot of pretenders, and he's not that competent a fellow, really. Uh, but best of luck to him. Best of luck to him. The Empire of Scotland rests in his hands now. For Bobard has finally passed on. 177. Pretty good innings, I'd say, really. And he did finish with Marshal 30 as well, which is not bad. Before he died, anyway, his personal combat skill was also very high. Cornwall carries on in its independence, yes, although for how much longer I don't know, because apparently it's being besieged by the Welsh. <laughs> there you go, folks. That was pretty cool. But there comes a point in Crusader Kings where you really do have to draw the line and say, right, enough is enough. Um, because it, it otherwise it just goes on forever and ever and ever. It's 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 not so much, it's not quite like uh, playing EU4 or particularly Hearts of Iron, where uh, the play overall playthrough is much shorter. Crusader Kings seems to go on forever. It's on for a very long time. Like a full campaign of this game is incredibly long. 
Um, we made it as far as 1284, and I think we only started in 1066. We didn't do the, like, the Viking start or anything. So, uh, yeah. There it is, folks. We found out what happened to Emperor Babad. What happened was he ruled for 177 years, forged an empire, and then took an unlucky arrow in the, in the, in the face at the Battle of Anglesey in 1284, fighting the rebel scum, rebel Welshman. And finally, at long last, someone got him. Perhaps he was even stabbed in the back. Someone was plotting to kill him, after all. Maybe that's what happened. Some some wily person with a crossbow, a mercenary, perhaps, who'd been paid particularly handsomely, leveled his crossbow at the Emperor and let fly. We'll never know for sure. The history books will probably be rather unclear on that, because the event was pretty damn unclear. Perhaps Shakespeare will make a few plays about him. That would be good. Regardless, ladies and gentlemen, the Ballad of Bobard the Great has finally, at long last, come to an end. Let's do a save. For posterity. A crossbow on the grassy knoll. <laughs> And there we go, resign. Our final score was 94,527, which had us beating the Von Habsburgs. We were, we were a mere 5,500 points away from beating House Capet and actually beating every single historic, historical dynasty in the game. Uh, that's definitely the highest score I've ever got in Crusader Kings 2. And it's probably going to be the highest score I ever get in Crusader Kings 2 because, of course... Now that this is over, Crusader Kings 3 beckons. Yes, with a score of 94,527, you beat House von Habsburg. On the face of it, things were not looking very good for the Habsburg family in 1066. As minor Swiss counts, their status inside the empire was fairly negligible compared to great territorial magnates of 11th century Germany. A policy of tactical marriages saw the family lands expand steadily, and it was during the chaos that gripped the empire in the late 13th and early 14th century that the family were elected to the office of the Holy Roman Empire. Although unable to hold the office, they were able to use this as a springboard to secure the Duchy of Austria for the dynasty. With this power base, the family would go on to dominate the politics of Central Europe until 1918. Yes, I suppose the Monroes were the von Habsburgs of their day, really. Had a bit of Poland, quite a bit of, quite a lot of, in fact, all of Poland at one point, really. All the British Isles, a fair old chunk of Spain, all of, all of Portugal over here at its height, as well as uh, Catalonia over here, Aragon, you know. Um, yeah. We pass the torch now, I suppose, to the actual von Habsburgs, who eh, sometime in the next century should be, be ascending to dominance, really. What killed him? It's unclear, but he died in battle. We can only speculate. He might have been assassinated during the battle. Might have taken an unlucky arrow to the face like Harold Godwinson did all the way back in 1066 when this campaign began. A Welsh longbow, most likely, yes. As he was battling Welsh peasant rebels at the time on Anglesey. But hey, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, interim him on the golden throne, yes. <laughs> That's it for Crusader Kings 2. I've enjoyed my time with this game over the years immensely. There's a reason it's one of my most top played games on Steam. It's a fantastic game. It is and always will be. I didn't even have all the DLC for it in the end, I don't think. I had most of it, though. However, Crusader Kings 3 is out now. Um, I haven't picked it up yet. Barely looked at it, in fact. I, I'm going to be curious to see what it's like. Honestly. CK2 gets boring after a few centuries, usually. Yeah, it does, really. It's 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 one of those games where the early game is the, probably the most fun, I, I feel. 
early to mid game is great and then after that it gets a little bit like you, you start to get a bit impatient you're running the game on times five speed all the time and you know everything becomes a bit of a blur you always, you always end up remembering your first three or four rulers really really vividly and then after that it just becomes a kind of a whatever thing personally that's how it's always gone for me which is why i never really made it to a, a late enough period in the game to actually get the black death i think the re only reason we got it this time is because it came extra early for some strange reason weird dice roll in the background there perhaps i don't think i've ever made it to the 1300s in crusader kings 2 i might have done it maybe once but i really don't remember i think the most successful game i ever had of ck2 in terms of like land mass was one where i was playing as england and i think i managed to inherit the byzantine empire at which point i just stopped playing pretty much <laughs> so well ladies and gents boys and girls if you're watching on youtube thanks very much uh, this little mini series of, of just Bobard and his immortal exploits is all on the main YouTube channel here, as you've seen. I'll put it in a playlist. Uh, you can watch his the earlier exploits of the Munro dynasty over on my old uh, defunct now um, YouTube Twitch VOD channel, which you can find it. There's a little there's a little YouTube button on the banner of my channel page, which will take you there if you go and look at that, and you can find the rest of them there uh, if you care to look at the earlier ones. But uh, that's it for now. Obviously, I will be jumping into Crusader Kings 3 at some point in the near future. But of course, it's a paradox game. So the longer we leave it, the better it will actually be. So I'm not in a huge rush to do it. And I, I'm, I don't want to play CK3 immediately. I mean, I might dabble in it a little bit on my own time. But I don't want to stream it or anything immediately. In fact, probably what I'm going to be doing next is... Well, I'm going to split my time between a couple of games, I think. One of them is going to be Death Stranding, because, gosh, I've been looking forward to playing that for ages now. Um, and the other is going to be Hearts of Iron 4. I haven't played on stream any Kaiserreich since my, I think, 24-hour stream back in, like, 2014. It's the last time I played any Kaiserreich on either of my channels. Uh, for the, that was the Darkest Hour version, I think. So I think it's about time. I think it's long overdue that I make a return to the Hearts of Iron series. And it will be a return to Kaiserreich as opposed to vanilla. I have never, to date, as far as I'm aware, done a, done a, done a I think, actually no. I did stream a vanilla Poland campaign once in, Heart, in Hoi 4. But I, I've never done a let's play of uh, like a proper series of um, of vanilla Hearts of Iron in any incarnation. Not two, not three, not Darkest Hour, not four. Uh, I've, it's always been Kaiserreich over the years because I just found Kaiserreich immensely entertaining compared to vanilla for some reason. Um, but that's probably what I'll be doing. Uh, I don't know what country I'm going to be playing as yet. It might, it might end up being Germany. Because I feel Germany is the perfect way to introduce Kaiserreich to people who've never seen it before. Um, and there'll probably be more than a few people watching who've never seen Kaiserreich before. So I feel like maybe Germany's probably a good shout. Um, but there's a few other countries I'd like to try as well. So the thing about Kaiserreich playthroughs and Hearts of Iron 4 playthroughs in general is they're quite short. So um, we, could eat, we could quite conceivably do more than one. Uh, so. But anyway... I haven't played Germany since, since like, the Darkest Hour version of Kaiserreich, so I'm sure a lot's changed. Um, but it should be interesting. And I think we're... I'd have to try pretty hard to lose as Germany as well. That's the other thing. I don't want to pick a country that I'm just going to get annihilated as, because I, I lose a lot of my campaigns in Hearts of Iron, and most of the reason for that is because I insist on picking small, minor countries that are beholden to the whims of larger ones, because I sometimes find them more, more entertaining uh, and a bit more of a challenge. Uh, rather than just playing as one of the big majors all the time, but unfortunately, it means that a lot of the time you you end up just getting stomped on by by a much bigger empire all the time. So, however, with Germany in Kaiserreich, I stand a fairly solid chance of winning. I think, even if the RNG conspires against me. Anyway, back to the main menu. Ladies and gentlemen, that will be next time. Uh, we've It's a short stream, this one, compared to the usual. But 
I don't have anything else prepared and ready to go immediately, I'm afraid. So uh, we're just going to have to end it here and, and go raid somebody, I think. But Caribbean, Caribbean Federation playthrough, yes. that's See, that is the kind of country that I would probably ordinarily play as, actually, <laughs> to, to tell you the truth. You know, if they've got a focus tree... Uh, and 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 stuff. Then then I'm yeah hell yeah I'm on board. I'll play as the tiny silly nations. Uh, yeah, oh, that'd be fun. <laughs> Caribbean Federation, yeah, that'd be great. You know, like how uh, Prussia was often called the army with a state. Caribbean Federation, you could make like 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 the the navy with a state. That could be the whole playthrough. Just like I am a bunch of tiny islands with a massive navy. And that's just what I do for the entire game. I just blow stuff up with my navy. Anyway, that will all have to be for another time, folks. Thank you very much for watching, if you've been on YouTube or Twitch. Either way, tell very much. I appreciate it. And I'll see you again for whatever comes next very soon. In fact, probably tomorrow, if all goes according to plan, because uh, Wednesdays I can usually stream for much longer. So... Like, I can start in the afternoon and go all the way through to the evening on a Wednesday. Due to some, you know, family scheduling uh, work stuff, basically. Just a bunch of things sort of convene in such a way that I basically have all of Wednesday to do with as I see fit. It's practically a weekend for me. So uh, I will probably be back tomorrow. And uh, we'll stream something. Hey, you know, if it's an extra long stream, we could probably stream two things. So we could make a start on Death Stranding and Kaiserreich if we want to. So, yeah. All right. Thanks, folks. Thank you very much. I'm going to quickly see if there's anyone we could raid. It's a funny time of day for it, though, so I don't know if there will be anyone. Uh, is, Fra is that Frazwar on the GOG channel? Is that my boy Fraz? It is! He's playing Don't Starve. On the GOG channel. Fantastic. He's the only streamer that's live right now that I follow. That was that's that's perfect. Brilliant. So we're gonna go to say hello to Fraz. He's playing Don't Starve at the moment, which is a cool little game. I haven't played it in ages, but it's a cool little game. And uh yeah, go say hello for me, everyone. And I'll see you next time. That's it. That's the stream. Toodaloo, everyone. <laughs>